I'm Mia Ritchie, I play netball for Team Bath and England and I'm currently a teacher at a local secondary school. I'm really excited just to be a part of the England setup. When I first came to uni I only ever dreamt of playing in an England dress um, and now I have seven caps. I'm just trying to up those caps all the time. I've had to work very hard obviously being one of the smallest players to ever play for England. I have to sort of jump twice as high and run twice as fast because I can't reach balls that some of the other players might be able to get. But yeah, um, just training with and amongst uh, the girls that I do is, is really exciting and I just learn masses from them. But I've recently just been selected to go to Australia um, on a tour for England. Um, we're going up there to prepare obviously for the Commonwealth Games this summer. Um, I'm really looking forward to it. I haven't played against an Australian style of team um, before, so I've only been out to New Zealand last year and played against them in the Fast Five competition. So I think it's going to be a really invaluable experience for me. Um, and then we head back here after a couple of weeks off and then come into our INTC here at Bath which is some quite vigorous training I've heard. So I'm looking forward to getting stuck in and we'll see what the results are this summer, I guess. My name's Olivia Murphy. I'm currently Team Bath Assistant Coach to Jess Philby. Um, my role within England is I'm an England Technical Coach, which means I mainly work with the midcourt. Um, a little bit of my history is I was England captain, um, played 95 times for England. With my expertise in, in the midcourt, I've been really excited by what I see from Mia. Um, she's an amazingly dynamic, fit, athletic individual. Uh, as a mid-quarter, she would be one I really wouldn't want to play against. Um, she, you know, she has pace, she has power, um, she has beautiful feeding excellence, and her vision into the circle is amazing. Her pathway for this year is she's hopefully destined to go and play at the Commonwealth Games. Um, she's got a, a tough ask ahead of her. She's got lots of training to get under her belt between now and, and selection. Um, yeah, that's her year. She's looking forward to trying to get to the Commonwealth Games. We often train twice a day, in the morning and in the evening. So for example this morning I had a weight session and this morning I'll have my Super League session. Training at the moment, um, we're, in, we're obviously preparing for the Australia tour. So on that tour, um, training is going to be very intense. So and like I said, then we'll get a couple of weeks off before we head back into an INTC. I teach at a local school just down the road from here. Um, I've always wanted to be a teacher, I think, like being an inspiration to the children at the school um, just makes my job a lot easier and they often come and watch matches and they just they pick up a lot of things as well so when I teach them netball or any sport it's just really rewarding seeing them improve and knowing that sort of, I'm an international athlete um, and also here at Team Bath I think it's really exciting for them and they have something, someone to look up to um, and a role model to use in myself so yeah I absolutely love my job. We definitely I'd say have the best fans in the league um, week in, week out, they turn out sort of over a thousand in our Team Bath arena. So it's really exciting and we just want to give back sort of the support that they give us. We want to obviously uh, play our best as we can on the court um, and just reward them for their continued support and enthusiasm they bring to every game. As you probably know, we've had three draws this season, which sort of is unheard of in netball. So um, yeah, some really exciting games and some really tight games. We've had games where we've come from 11 goals down. Um, where we've been up and then we've managed to draw games. So a mixed bag of results, but we're really looking forward to what the future holds and especially going into next season.